Nomenclature Curved tip anvil jaw Channel jaw Articulation joint Shaft Manual articulation lever Rotating knob Firing trigger Red firing trigger lock Manual closing trigger Knife reverse switch Anvil release button Battery pack Manual override Design features 7 mm anvil width 35 mm staple line length White reloads 4 staple rows 2.5 mm open staple height 1 mm closed staple height 50 degree articulation 320 mm shaft length 9 mm shaft diameter 12 firings Steps to use Prior to using the instrument Using sterile technique, remove the instrument and the battery from their respective packaging and install the battery pack. An audible click will be heard when the battery pack is fully inserted. It can be inserted in either orientation, there is no up or down. Loading the instrument. Prior to loading, rotate the shaft so the curved anvil tip is in the upright position for easier loading. Examine the reload for the presence of a yellow staple retaining cap. Insert the reload by sliding it against the bottom of the channel jaw until the reload alignment tab stops in the reload alignment tab slot. Snap the reload securely in place. Remove the yellow staple retaining cap and discard. Observe the surface of the new reload to ensure no blue colored drivers are visible. Visually inspect the stapler to ensure proper reload seating. Closing and opening of the jaws. Prior to insertion through the port, rotate the shaft back so the curved anvil tip is in the downward position. The shaft will rotate optimally when the jaws of the device are open. Close the jaws of the instrument by squeezing the closing trigger until a click is heard. The audible click indicates that the closing trigger and the jaws are locked. Squeeze the closing trigger and then simultaneously push the anvil release button on the side of the device. Maintain pressure on the anvil release button and slowly release the closing trigger. Articulation and placement. To articulate the jaws inside the body cavity, Turn the articulation lever in either direction until one of the three predetermined angles is reached. Articulating while closed does not provide optimal feedback and control and may result in instrument damage. Position the instrument around the tissue to be stapled, ensuring that the tissue is proximal to the cut line markings, which represent the minimum cut distance. Ensure that the tissue lies flat and is positioned properly between the jaws. Any bunching of tissue along the reload, particularly in the crotch of the jaws, may result in an incomplete staple line. Fully close the closing trigger until it clicks. Warning: Do not use the instrument if, upon closing, the tissue extends beyond the cut line marking, which represents the minimum cut distance. Firing with tissue in the tip of the jaws may result in incomplete cutting action and or improperly formed staples. Pull back the red firing trigger lock. Pull the exposed firing trigger to fire. Continue to depress the trigger until the motor stops. Release the firing trigger to automatically return the knife to the home position. To open the jaws, squeeze the closing trigger and then simultaneously push the anvil release button on the side of the device. Maintain pressure on the anvil release button and slowly release the closing trigger. Inspect the staple line. Stapler Lockout Under certain circumstances, the stapler will lock out, including instances where there is no cartridge, an incorrect cartridge is used, or a used cartridge is still in the device. At any time, if the knife reverse switch does not return the knife to the home position and the jaws will not open, reverse.
slide the knife reverse switch forward. Battery. Check the battery is securely installed and that the device has power. Reverse. Slide the knife reverse switch forward again. Override. If the knife still does not return, use the manual override. Remove the access panel labeled Manual Override on top of the handle. The manual override lever will be exposed. Move the lever forward and backward until it can no longer be moved. The knife will now be in the home position. This can be verified by viewing the position of the knife in the knife lockout window. Note, once the override lever is used, the device becomes non-functional. Discard the instrument and dispose of the battery pack. Reloading the instrument. Push upward toward the anvil to unsnap the reload from the channel jaw. Discard the used reload. Prior to reloading the instrument, hold the instrument in a vertical position with anvil and reload jaw completely submerged in sterile solution. Swish vigorously and then wipe the inside and outside surfaces to clean any unused staples from the instrument. Do not use the instrument until it has been visually inspected to confirm there are no staples on the anvil and channel jaw. Follow the same steps outlined earlier in the Loading the Instrument section. Battery Pack Disposal Disconnect the battery pack by squeezing the release tabs and pull the battery pack straight back. Because of the built-in battery drain, it is safe to discard the battery pack into the battery recycling bin or normal waste stream.